But the guys, that's Pro today. I'm going to be unboxing the Apple TV fourth generation today. So I got the thin mail today. And I also have an accessor for the remote. 64 gigabytes. Signed by Apple in California. And it says the Apple TV logo on, on the front of here. First thing we do is slice the plastic. Which I got out of my nail. Right here. I'm boxing it at 64 gigabytes. If you're wondering how much space it is, it's 64 gigabytes. I'm going to lift up the lid here. Hold on, let me turn my light up so you can see a little better. Okay, so now we lift up the lid here. And the first thing we can see is, is the Apple TV in the Siri mode itself. The first thing we see here. So, first thing we're going to look at the Siri remote. We'll lift it out. It's about the same dimension as the iPod Touch. Let me get my iPod here. It has, it's about the same exact thinness as the iPod Touch, but it's smaller. So to take it out, we pull this little tab here to open up the remote. And flip for a second out of the fail. And as you see here, the, the remote has a clickable trackpad right here. The trackpad is, is glass here. It's clickable, a little trackpad. And then we have the voice control Siri button with the concave, so you tell them all apart from the other ones. The menu button, volume up and down, and play button. Then it also comes with a little accessory called the remote loop. We unbox that. So when we take the remote loop out of its box here, here's what it looks like. Have a little tabby pull here to release it. Yeah, so we take this tape off the remote loop, take it out of the packaging, and then it straps in to the lightning connector on the bottom right here, and then it perfect so it won't fall out of your hand. So now you have your own little wrist strap now, so it won't fall, or you won't drop it in case you're playing games like Wii Bowling or something, like bowling is the game, some like that. And next, we get to the TV, like it's like two pounds here, the TV itself. We pull a little tab to release the plastic. And then the edges, you pull you pull a little plastic to cover up, take off the bottom part right here. They have another part covering up all the ports. But this is polished, polished so it can be scratched, it scratched, scratches very easily. You can see here the port we have here, the power, power cord output input right here. The HDMI, let me get my camera focus. HDMI, USB-C, and Ethernet cable. Really cool. And there is a little light on here somewhere that emits when you turn the TV on, like right here. Get that in the moment. First, let's take a look at the accessories here. First, when we lift up the tray here, like here, first thing we see here is the adapter you see to plug it into the TV. You, you use this to power the TV. Let me take the plastic off here, so you can see this. So this little cable goes into this port right here. This goes into the back of the wall. So the cord is kind of really long, actually. It doesn't look like it from when you first take it out of the box. Move that to my bed. Big room. Then we have a quick start guide telling us how to use it. And we get Apple stickers, regulatory information, and there's some basic stuff on, on the TV on how to get how to set it up and all that. Basically all it is, it tells you how to plug the TV in, which Siri commands work. And we get a second, then we get another lightning connector to charge the Siri remote. And this thing does not come with the power adapter. So now I'm going to move my camera so I can show you how to set it. Now the setup process. First thing you do is take your TV here. And then, I've already plugged the, the cable in, if you can see that. Right here I plugged the connector in. So, let me get the camera so you can see. See, see the little black cable right there? That's the cable to plug it in. Then we plug it into the TV right here. Like this. See the little light flashing? Now I'm going to turn my TV on. And now take your HDMI connector right here. And then plug it into the HDMI output. So I'm going to still on. Let me get the connectors all here. Now you put, I put my TV on the stand here. Right here. Now, let me find my TV remote here, and change it. 
each night too. And now, the thing is all working now. And now we get to set up Apple TV. So let me change the picture size here. So, I'm going to go with English. United States. I'm going to do Siri. I'm going to set up manually. Now I'm going to select my Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm going back and I've finished entering the password to the Wi-Fi's. Now it says, if now it's going to try to pair up with the Wi-Fi down. It's going to take a minute for to complete this joining process. It says activating Apple TV. It might take a few minutes to activate your TV. It says Apple ID. I'm going to skip this step for now. I'm going to enable location services. Automatically download. Send Apple. I'm going to share it app developers. I agree to try the conditions. And boom, we're in their TV now. Just like that. So the basic steps here. You can, it now comes with App Store, you use the trackpad here to scroll down. If you tap and hold, I'm in settings. Now you click the, you click menu to go home. If you tap and hold, it has a cool little animation here. See when I move my finger over the trackpad, you can see a settings icon animate. It has little sounds too. In the App Store, you have photos, TV shows, movies on iTunes, and TV, Pocket, Apple Music, Search, Computers, and Settings. In Settings, you can, when you go to General, you can change your screen saver, do lights, and then select light or dark to change the appearance of the background of the menus. So when I go here, dark, that's the dark one on TV. And I have Sleep, I'm gonna turn on that to Never. Which does back to light. I have accessibility, which is voiceover, display accommodations. Now I have color filters, and stuff like that. They click menu to go back there. I have accessibility shortcut where triple click the triple click the menu button, reduce motion, and create contrast. All those cool settings. I have Siri, which I can do right here. Like this. Hello Siri. Hello Siri. Just like that, but it makes no sound. So, but if you have Apple TV, it won't make any sound. It'll just stay like silent for Siri. You can even change your audio and video with your stereo output. I'm gonna do the default. You can do the loud sounds, so it makes it even. Sound effects and music. You can even change the HDMI audio output, which I'm using HDMI right now, the gray core going across. That's my HDMI right here. And I can even calibrate, calibrate so it works properly. When I go back, it even says AirPlay, remotes and devices, system. You check my software update. I'm checking the software update. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna update later. So it's not on the newest version of TV, so I'm going to update that later. I'm going to go to general, about tvOS 10.1 is the version I'm on. The current version is 10.3, 10.2 I think. Tell me comments below what the current version of Apple TV is, I'm not sure. And if you go to that, even tells you in the corner here, this 2007 through 2016 Apple Inc. I'm going to click the menu key to go back. So I'm going to sign into my accounts, download movie, and show you go back. And I just realized that when you sign into your iTunes account, it automatically, you don't actually have to download anything. When I discovered that, right when you sign into your iTunes show, you don't need to download anything. They play right from, for your purchase. Like for iPhone, iPad, and Mac, you have to download them. But on TV, you don't. It automatically plays them whether you have them on purchase or not. I want to go to my TV shows here. Play the Puss and Boots episode. Or Zoom. Zoom playing. 
It's really cool. And then here are the volume controls. And then you, you tap on this little button here. That's how you fast forward. You tap on this corner right here. That's how you fast forward to different parts of the show you want. It's so interesting and really cool. And it demonstrates this feature. I'm not sure I turned the captures off. Ian? What did he just say? And you see here, when I said, what did you just say? It rewinded it. Like this. Hop, tap, and hold Siri. What did you just say? And then it rewinded the clip to the part, if you missed it, it rewinded the back 10 couple seconds so you think it go back to see what he said. That's really cool. Click the pause button, deposit. And you can use the volume, the plus button right here to control the volume on your TV like this. And go to menu. And now, I'm gonna show you the app store now. Like, actually, app music. I'm gonna go to my songs. They're all here, I didn't have to do anything. They just do it automatically. Let me find one of the ones I like the most. I stop the rock and I can demo this TV music here. There's a little, there's a little cutter button right here. Let me zoom in so I can see this. There's a little cutter button right here. Right here. There's like a little word button right here. Use the trackpad right here. You have to use the trackpad on the remote to scroll down. Let me zoom out. Okay, here's Stop the Rock. Oh! And Apple Music works perfectly on the TV. So you tap the trackpad again, to pause it, and unpause it. Just like that. Click play and pause to pause it. Then click menu, you go back to here. So this screen, if you want to get to the if you want to shuffle to the songs, just swipe like this. Just like that's how you swipe between your music, just use the trackpad. So when you're in and out of playing, you're like click menu. Like if you're in this screen, just swipe with your finger, then you can switch between different albums you like. Like this. And this is all automatic. If you're wondering. And it's all automatic. So, Apple Music is fully automatic. You don't have to do anything. Apple Music is just like the same thing as the iPhone version, but it's, it's just raised up a little more. And now, the App Store. This is the App Store. I go my purchase here. So you can see my purchase section, but I have to download apps. I get done with this right now. This is actually the first time I'm ever using Apple TV, and this is the quickest setup I've ever done. If you see that little light on the bottom of the TV emitting right here, it's really hard to see it. And it says recent purchases. It's Solar Rock 2. Then let me click download right here. And now it's installing. And now it shows how much this thing is downloading. Let me turn my camera brightness down so you can see it. So you see that little bar right there? You see how much it's downloading, really cool. Then we go back to home screen, you can actually see it loading right on the home screen itself, on the TV. That's so cool, it has the exact same interface as iOS, and watchOS and macOS. The exact same interface when downloading. And this is the first app I've ever tried to install on Apple TV, so it's going to take a bit for me to get used to it. And you could, this thing also has a gyroscope and accelerometer, so you can use it as a TV, you can actually use it as a gaming controller for driving games, which I'm going to show you that in another video. So this is glass, so it will break if you drop it. So really cool. And you can use this charger to charge the remote right here. So I'll walk too. If you move your finger over the trackpad, you can actually see it animating a little bit, like cool animation right here. Okay, so I'll open it up. 
So up to I have this on my iPod Touch and iPhone. This is basically how you view the planets. See, so it's telling you which ones are which. See, it's really cool. You can even see the volume. You can even open the sun up to see what it looks like inside. And scroll to view the infos here. Then hit menu to get out of this view right here. And then I have to use this here for zooming on this part right here, the zoom. I'm still not sure how to get to the planet. That's one thing I don't know of yet. So that's the Solar Walk 2 app. And that's that's basically the basics of the Apple TV. This just the basic stuff. So I'm not gonna use iCloud on TV at all. So those are just some of the basic features of Apple TV. So that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, submit video. Peace.